and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create abstract gradients mode. Someone asked me how to do that and we can use the same method that we've used for the abstract line effect. So we use this drawing tool for freehand drawing, create spiral path and this moving is important, I'll show you this. So left click and drag to create this line and it will be smoothed out. If I go down, I release it, the line gets wobblier. And if I go too high, the line gets smoothed out too much so that I don't get these waves anymore. We have to find a sweet spot here for the size that I'm using. 20 is a good value. So if I draw that, I get smooth lines and I still have enough waves. And now I create a couple of these lines, like maybe four, five, six. Make sure these lines overlap. Then select them all and go to extensions, generate from path and interpolate. Check the live preview. It might show you a warning message. If you get that, just click on OK. It should be rendered anyway. For the exponent, use 0, .0. Interpolation steps are important. If I go down, less lines are created. And if I go up to 40, more of these lines will be created. Find something that you like. For me, 40 is fine here. The interpolation method, it makes a little bit of a difference here. So try it out one or two. I like two better. So I'll keep that. Just apply it. Close your menu. Select it all, then go to Object and Ungroup. So we've got all of these lines now as individual elements. And we can look at the lines that are a little bit thicker. It's primarily because there are lines interpolated on top of each other, so that they only look thicker. So if I select them and then just delete them, they become thinner as I get rid of lines that overlap. I don't want to have that especially on top and at the bottom. Select it all, then go to path and stroke to path. It might take some time to process it depending on how many lines you've got. If you've got a lot of lines, it might take a minute. Afterwards, we've got it right here as a fill. So we can simply click on a red color and we've got a fill color. Then use the gradient tool, drag from left to right. We've got a new linear gradient here and we've added it to the fill. And now we can select these endpoints of the gradient. So the left one, I want to have it red. And if I select the right one, let me go to a bluish color. And now if we create a black background, let me use direct angle tool for that. I go to a black color swatch, use it as a fill. Put it to the bottom when you've got the cursor to active. And this is how you can create this typical abstract gradient smoke effect in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.